Thank you so much for joining me today. Now we're going to talk a little bit about what's been happening with Stephen A. Smith and also Molly. Um, you know, we already know that they have broken up, unfortunately. I, you probably know, or you wouldn't be watching this video, obviously, but everyone is saying that, I, I don't believe it. They are saying that Stephen A. Smith has taken Jalen Rose's woman. And apparently this move to Connecticut was because she was trying to get with Stephen A. Smith. They was secretly running around with each other. They've been broken up for over a year. So whatever she does is her business. But a lot of people are saying that, you know, Stephen A. Smith, it, it took her. I don't know if I believe that. I just think that it didn't work out with her and Jalen and things just didn't work out. Now she's moved on and he's moving on. And apparently, you know, no alimony for her, none for him. Unlike like Steve J wants Faith, Faith Evans money, which makes you kind of suspect. Like, you know, why are you marrying her now? Like she's been single for all these years and you were already with Jocelyn. So why, why do that? You, you had it going on with the Puerto Rican princess. You know, y'all was doing y'all thing. And then all of a sudden he left her, but that's another story. We'll talk about that later. But apparently now they believe that Stephen A. Smith has taken Jalen Rose's woman when he's been around Molly Karam for years before Stephen, before he, I mean, I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe him and Molly were friends and, uh, you know, decided to take things a little further. Um, and there's a lot of people talking about it online and I just don't see it. And if I see it, then I'll believe it, but I just don't believe it. Why would she get with some old man like Stephen A. Smith? Like, I'm gonna be real with you. Even if he tried to talk to me or whatever, like, and I wasn't married, I would play with him and talk with him. I wouldn't really think anything real of it. I mean, who's to say he won't get someone else? I mean, he was thirsting over Iggy Azalea. He went on a date with some girl named Ross Gold on um, the um, she, she probably, you know, she's probably African or Nigerian. I'm not really sure, but she's a beautiful woman as well. So apparently, you know, when you have money, like Kevin Samuel says, if you're a high value man, it don't matter what you look like. It matters what the woman looks like. And I think that Jalen Rose is really good looking and he has a lot of, I mean, he seems like a really nice guy, but who's to say that he's a nice guy at home and who's to say that Molly is. But at the end of the day, I think that he is. I think he's a good man. And I hope that he finds that love that he needs. You know, I'm just saying like, good man like that should be wasted on someone that doesn't appreciate it and moving out of state. like. Who does that? Like when you move out of the state, that means that you don't want to be with him anymore. So that's probably what happened. And I don't know what happened to the relationship. You know, I don't, I don't have that tea. Um, but if I find it out, I will tell you. Uh, I don't really think she knew too much about sports. That's just me. Like when I watch her, I'm just like, oh. And so I don't have a problem with women in sports, but we need to be able to hold our own when we're talking with men because otherwise we're just like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. There's been people that have shoved you to the side as well. If you're a moderator, then shut the fuck. You know, just don't say anything until it comes to the time that you need to. And uh, But, she, you know, sometimes she was talking and, and trying to break things up and people were treating her unfairly. Um, I think that she's a really beautiful woman. And I think that sometimes men go after that, not knowing what's on the inside does count. Um, beauty does matter as well as having a level head and, and you know, she's a career woman So a lot of people think that it wouldn't have worked out and I was really shocked to see that she was married to him I was like, oh my gosh, she's married to Jalen Rose He was really good. He's really good looking um, And no matter what happens, you know, he's, he's been on the show. He's he's doing his thing He still does his job. So I hope for the best for him and I hope he finds or if he already hasn't a love that can live with him and and be the woman that you're supposed to be. And I'm really saying that because like, you know, these women these days, you know, they don't understand that. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I struggle myself. I've been married for 20 years. Yes, 20 years. So I'm not no spring chicken and I won't tell you my age. But I was really, I was very, very, very young. Very young at really young age. Um, but at the end of the day, not 20 years, I've been married for, I think 13, sorry. Went way too far on that one. <laughs> but point is, it takes a lot to keep a marriage together. I mean, especially with all these Instagram hoes, and Instagram men just, you know, selling meat and all this stuff going on. <laughs> Women doing the same thing and just, you know, all this temptation around us. And it's hard to stay grounded when you have like people coming at you all the time. But at the end of the day, I think that it should have been over a long time ago. If it was over a year ago, he filed for it. I was really shocked. I thought maybe she would have first. 
Um, there was no prenup, so a lot of people think she come for that money. If she doesn't want it, then it, you know maybe she doesn't believe there's a need for it. They want to be friends still. Well, we'll see. So let's go ahead and watch some clips with Stephen A. Smith and Molly, as well as Jalen Rose recently that we have to um, highlight. And let's see the interaction between them because it's been over for about a year. And a lot of people are making excuses and saying it's a pandemic. It was Stephen A. Smith. It was this. It was that. It's just over. That's it. Like, people just need to understand, like, when it's over, it's over. Okay? And so we're going to go ahead and watch this together. I'm going to go ahead and bring a new element into the channel because I, I like watching videos. And I really wanted to watch them with you guys. So on the next video, we'll be doing a reaction video to some pretty crazy stories that I've seen online. I just wanted to bring that element to the channel, just kind of randomly going through things online and, and picking them, these things out. Um, going to be some true crimes, going to be some murder stuff. It's going to be some uh, viral news or some old news that you might have not known about. We'll also be talking about Alex Jones as well and the alien situation. It's a funny video um, to begin with, but then I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit deeper on the content on, on what all of that means. Just kind of just breaking it down so that way you don't have to like go researching everywhere and I will put the links in below because I believe in receipts okay I don't have a reason to lie okay me personally I don't so I'm not going to do that on this channel but I appreciate you guys for tuning in make sure to go to the website channelclips.com who this has been sponsored by it's our new site that we've actually created offering content creators a place to share your content no matter what it's about so make sure you come there Alex Jones also He's invited to, <laughs> but either way, we are going to go ahead and get off of this, um, this TV set right now. And I will be seeing you guys on the other side, but thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you. My name is DJ Harmony and I will see you guys next time.